Hey guys, here's a twist on the lasagna. I've got lasagna roll-ups here and stick around to the end and I'll show you another kind of twist to make with these. Let's go. Here's the sauce. Get our Dutch oven on a medium high heat. Put our Italian sausage right in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our diced onions. We're gonna cook all those together until the meat is no longer pink. Mm -hmm. mm, that smells good. And we don't need to add any of the oil because the juice from the Italian sausage is providing that oil to cook the onions. Mm -hmm. Once your Italian sausage is cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic and cook those for another minute or two. Once the meat's cooked, throw in our salt and pepper, parsley, Italian seasoning, oregano, and optional is the sugar. That just helps to cut down the acidity of our sauce. After that, we're gonna give it a nice stir, add in our crushed tomatoes. Watch out, they splash. Our tomato sauce and our tomato paste. Stir that all together, put the lid on it, and let it simmer for 30 minutes. So our pot of water is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add our nine lasagna noodles. Give that a stir, and we're gonna cook those for the recommended time on the box, which is 10 to 12 minutes or till al dente. So while our noodles are boiling and our sauce is simmering, we're gonna do step two, which is our cheesy yum. So most recipes call for ricotta. We're not doing that. I like cottage cheese better. It's got more flavor and it's got more moisture in it. So that's my go-to on any lasagna. Parmesan and mozzarella. Add some salt and pepper. Add a whisked egg to that. Chop up some fresh basil. Give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna add our baby pepperonis. Now, if you don't have those, you can use the larger ones and just chop them up. These are just already fun size, so let's have some fun. Give that a good stir and then set that off to the side. So our noodles are done. We want those to cool down before we try handling them. Got a cookie sheet and I'm gonna lay out my noodles and let them cool before we go ahead and roll them up. So that means we're on to step three assembly time. So we've got our noodles cooled, our sauce is done. We're gonna go ahead and put a cup of our sauce at the bottom of our pan, spread that all out. That's gonna give us a nice saucy base for our roll-ups to go on. So with our roll-ups here, we're gonna take a couple spoonfuls of our cheesy yum and spread it on each one of our noodles. And then we're going to roll up each noodle, not tightly, a little bit loose, just enough to hold it together. If you roll it up too tight, all of our cheesy yum is gonna squeeze right out of our noodles and we don't want that. So once we have all of our noodles rolled up, we're gonna place them seam side down on top of our layer of sauce. And then you'll do the same thing for your next set of noodles until all nine are done and in your pan. We're going to take some more of our sauce and we're going to smother the whole top of our roll-ups with it. It's gonna go and seep in between. It's gonna have a nice layer on top. And then we're gonna cover it in cheese. Mozzarella, some Parmesan, and then we're also gonna do some Monterey Jack on top of it. And then we reserved a few of the little baby party pepperonis to throw on top. So now that our lasagna is all assembled, now it's step four, which is the bake. We're gonna bake it at 350 for 45 minutes. 30 of those minutes, we're going to put a foil tent on top. We want it a tent because we don't want the foil to touch our cheese because the cheese is just gonna stick to that. And we want our cheese all on our lasagna. And in the oven she goes. Bake it for 30 minutes. And then after that 30 minutes, we're gonna take the foil off and cook it the last 15 minutes. That way the cheese gets all bubbly and toasty on top. So we got 15 minutes that we wanna let our lasagna roll-ups sit. We wanna do that so that they are easy to serve and they're not so hot. So during that time, we're gonna make some garlic bread and a salad. So for the garlic bread, we're gonna go ahead and cut that in half and mix up some butter, some garlic powder, a pinch of salt and some Italian seasoning. We'll spread that all on top of our bread and then we're gonna to top it off with some Parmesan and some mozzarella cheese. Pop that in the oven at a low broil for just a few minutes, just until it's golden brown. All right, and there you have it, our twist on lasagna, our roll-up. Let's give it a try. What's great about this, it was so much easier to cut it out the pan. You get your own like individual little section here. Yeah. Want right. my pepperoni.
that is Italian comfort food. It's cheesy, spices are great. I love the little addition of the pepperoni. And as promised, I've got three little extras for you. One, use jar sauce. It'll save you a little bit of time, add a little spice, it'll be great. Two, is make this dish different by making it a chicken Alfredo. Instead of the marinara, use Alfredo sauce, and as your meat, either grill some chicken or use a rotisserie chicken. And three, with the extra sauce, make our cheesy chicken roll-ups. You can find that recipe here, and we'll see you next time. Bye.